Boom, headshot. Oh boy. How to serve. You wanna come with me? Man, I don't know who you are. I've played a lot of Fallout 4 in my life, more than 700 hours for sure, and I really enjoy the game, especially when it's modded, and I want to share that enjoyment with all of you. You see, there's a very good gameplay loop built into Fallout 4. Adventuring, looting, crafting, and then back to adventuring. That's how I play anyway, so I made a character perfect for this. Maximum strength so I can carry as many items as possible, and maximum intelligence so I can level up faster. Uh, but that also means all my stats are all pretty poopy, which also means it's pretty easy to die, which is why I'll be playing on the difficulty very hard. For fun. Alright, this is what our character looks like. Alright, so this is like the first mod that I need to talk about. I can choose to not be the parent of that child Sean from the opening of the game. I'm gonna say, this is only a dream, I need to wake up. Uh, I could spawn anywhere in the Commonwealth, but I feel that would alter from normal gameplay a bit too much. I'm more comfortable just starting in a vault. Still gotta go watch someone get shot in the head, but at least it's not my husband or and or wife. Boom, headshot. Our name will be Miss Scav. As you can see, Miss Scav has just woken up from cryo sleep. She's locked inside of a vault, and she's gotta find her way out of here. There's a lot of bugs and a lot of things to carry with her. Here's a notable piece of loot. Uh, there's actually a tape here on this computer in the vault called Red Menace. I got the achievement. I guess I've never done it with uh, achievements enabled. Uh, it's ba I, as you can see, it's basically Donkey Kong. Oh boy, I'm not gonna play it right now because I came here to play Fallout 4, but I can eject that and I can put it on a computer in a settlement some other day. Oh my God, is that a bugs? Guess I missed one. Lots of bugs here to kill. I remember this first jump scaring me when I first played. Not anymore, this is like my 40th time through the vault, bro. Upon picking up the Pip-Boy, we get a tag three skills. I know that tagging a skill will give it plus 15 skill points. But, I don't know if it does anything else. I don't think it does, but it might, if I'm being honest. Um, we're gonna go to rifles, because that's gonna be our main way of killing people. I prefer rifles over pistols, because pistols are too... They're just little baby guns. Uh, they do kill things about as good as pistols, and they weigh less, but they just don't look as cool, if I'm being honest. We're not doing heavy weapons, because they're just too heavy. Uh, and we're not doing explosives, because it's hard to get a hold of explosives. So we're just going to go rifles. Something that I forgot to mention while playing is that the crafting perks of chemistry, engineering, gunsmithing, and science... Uh, unlock new recipes every 25 skill points. So 25, 50, 75, and 100, they unlock new recipes. So sometimes you'll hear me refer to gunsmithing level one or two or three, and I mean the next milestone of 25 points when I say something like that. And then we're gonna want all of the crafting skills we can get. So we're gonna go gunsmith. Oh, we're gonna want a gunsmith, engineering, chemistry, and science to their max level eventually. I'm gonna go for gunsmith because it is the longest way from leveling up. Put one thing there. Um, and then we'll probably go for engineering because it'll let us upgrade our armor. Because when it comes to the wasteland, first you wanna get your guns as high as they can so you can kill stuff. Get your, and then get your armor as high as it can to not die. Let's open this door. And this door takes forever to open, holy crap. All right, let's get out of this vault. Holy moly, dude, this takes way too long after you've played it 300 freaking times. Okay, let me in. So I exited the vault, looted a few things, and made my way to Sanctuary Hills where I could talk to Codsworth. He's basically a butler robot that's been doing nothing but like gardening and maintaining the household of his former owners for the last 200 years. He didn't have anything else better to do, I suppose. For those who don't know, spread throughout this game, there are dozens of magazines you can find, and these magazines will give you slight buffs, like this edition of Grognak the Barbarian. 
I also find this unique book called Your Special, which gives you plus one to any one stat. I picked agility. Anyway, Codsworth thinks I'm his old owner, which I'm not, but he asks me to search the neighborhood with him to find the rest of the family, to which I say, All right, lead the way. Proud to serve, Mom. Yeah, unsurprisingly, we didn't find any family members in the post-apocalyptic wasteland after 200 years. Thanks for your help, Cots. Good luck, Mom. All right, first level up. First things first, we're going to get rifles to 100. We will need scrapper. Uh, the portable workbench mod I have requires you to have the scrapper perk. It will also let us salvage uncommon components like screws, aluminum, and copper when scrapping armor and weapons, which is something I will be doing a lot. So... After that, I made my way to the Red Rocket Truck Stop, looting a few things along the way. The Red Rocket Truck Stop is going to be my base of operations for the foreseeable future. And I also get to get the companion dog meat. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? <laughs> you want to come with me, pal? Then we bonded by using self-defense on a pack of mole rats. Never seen that before. What a good boy. Aww. After that, I looted the Red Rocket truck stop a bit, but I knew I wanted to unlock a merchant as soon as possible, so I beelined my way to the Drumlin Diner, where it seemed some sort of dispute was occurring. I also passed another trader, Carla, on the way. We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Now don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. Whoa, whoa, easy there, vault girl. This doesn't involve you. What's going on here? That's a simple business dispute, got it? Trudy's sitting on a pile of goods that she owes me. I tried reasoning with her. But it looks like I gotta take what's mine by force. Want to make some easy money? Help me out. I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. <clears throat> I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Why? What's this all about? Oh, that Ken Pusher didn't tell you? He got my boy hooked on Jet, sold him a ton of junk on credit, and now he expects me to pay him off. That bastard ain't getting a single damn cap from me. Is Carla fighting someone in the background? I want to help you, Truth. Get rid of Wolfgang. I don't know what he ought to do. All right, Truth. Thank you. I'll back you up. Oh, shit. Is Ness? Did you just kill Carla? This is actually my first time in all my hours uh, that I can remember encountering this NPC known as Ness. She got into a fight with Carla, didn't kill her, um, and then like ran around. What the hell is happening? Hey, sister, you looking to earn some caps? Sure. And I've got the job for you. I've got a lead on a crash site. Big old tr trouble is, some raiders are holed up in it. Mm -hmm. How about 50 cap? Sounds fair. All right. There's a little ridge just south of the crash site. Meet me there. Well, never had that happen before. I guess we'll do that thing for Ness later. Right now, I'm going to finish up the Drumlin Diner encounter. <sighs> I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that sky. I've got a few minutes to browse. A little bit of everything. A little bit of trading. Another level up. More points into rifles. And we'll go strong back. Need that carry weight. 
back to Red Rocket, where I crafted the portable workbench, which will let me craft and scrap on the go. Well, it will let me, but in order to craft all the kits I want for it, I'm gonna need some more aluminum. So I went to the tunnel underneath Red Rocket in order to hopefully find some. <laughs> Didn't find any under there, so I just went on a wasteland adventure. Found a magazine. Another one. Oh look, aluminum. Once I got back to Red Rocket, I crafted all the modules for the portable workbench I wanted, and I did a little bit of organizing. We're gonna take Educated, so we'll get another plus four skill points per level, uh, which will make our level ups even better every time we do it. So the earlier I take it, the better. Uh, and then we're gonna put 20 points. We're actually gonna get first level of Gunsmith, I believe. First level of chem, and the first level of psi, and then we'll put everything else into rifles. This is our first loot check-in. We have three weapons, four weapons we're keeping, this combat shotgun, combat rifle, and short pipe rifle. Uh, and the weapon I've currently modded that I'll be using for adventuring for a while is this uh, hunting rifle. I've modified it a bit uh, from what it was currently at. Um, gave it a light receiver so it does better in vats. Um, I have a mod so the light receiver doesn't do a lot less damage. It does do slightly less though. Um, I gave it a full stock so it looks like a normal gun. And uh, that was about it. And that cool scope I have is from a mod. Uh, our armor, I still have no chest piece but we'll get one soon. I have a hard hat, uh, some eyeglasses. Uh, metal right arm, light leather left arm, heavy leather right arm, light leather left leg. Not great, um, but that's where we're at. As far as our junk economy is concerned, we have 96 pounds of junk and we have 501 caps. So that's where we're at. Now we're on our way to clear... Museum of Freedom at least one time. more points into rifles. Taking riflemen, which will give us 30% armor pin and ability to cripple limbs. Put the rest in the rifles. I get the next level of engineering. I'm gonna put the rest in the gunsmith. I'm gonna take math wrath, so vats cost 10% less action points.
Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. So, long story short, uh, our friend here, Preston Garvey, is the last surviving member of the Minutemen. Basically a militia that protected the settlers of this wasteland. And he's trying to save this group of settlers. But he's under attack by these raiders, and he needs our help. So I give him a hand. Garvey thanks me and Miss Scav says, You're welcome. Anytime. Gunsmith to tier two. Put the rest into engineering. Lock that in. I took agility training as well. Looks like we'll end this video at level 7. We have 908 cap store name and 269 pounds of junk as well. Very nice. I'm currently dripped out in a metal helmet. Mostly combat armor, except for my right leg. I'm going to get that other combat. My plan is to get full combat armor and get the Minute Man, Minute Man paint on it. Uh, and I have this assault rifle, which is what I'll be using for a little bit for a few, a few adventures. Yeah, that's where we're at for now.